So CRO stands for Contract Research Organization. CDMO stands for Contract Development Manufacturing Organization. A CDMO, so the Development Manufacturing Organization, or CMO, is an external partner company that can help with the manufacturing of a drug. CDMOs can also help with the formulation of a drug in some cases from the development. But if you see CMO, they're only working with already formulated compounds. So for those specialties, you're looking for help with formulation, delivery methods, packaging, shipping. These are what the companies are doing. They don't really help with regulatory advice or any preclinical or clinical trials. We'll get into that with the next one. So companies use them because they offer a better access for scalability for manufacturing large amounts of a compound when it's ready for market. There's diverse expertise, especially in the manufacturing and packaging delivery methods. They offer a lot of cutting edge equipment. Manufacturing requires a lot of the top of the line equipment as part of the good manufacturing practices. Um, so that's a good way to get access to the cutting edge equipment that you're going to need to fulfill those obligations and access to a regulatory compliant lab, especially if it's a very, if it's a very small company that's working with them. Now, I mentioned they don't really do the regulatory or the preclinical or clinical help, but a CRO is a multi-service option for pharmaceutical, biotech, and medical device companies. More pharmaceutical, but you will find ones who do biotech and medical devices as well. And as I said, they could help with all stages of a product life cycle. Beyond just the development and manufacturing, like with the CDMOs, you can see many that specialize in running preclinical or clinical trials for a drug that's going to go into approval. They often have people who can help with the regulatory submissions if you don't have someone on your team who's experienced in that the development as well. And some do help with post-market monitoring too. So you'll find CROs that pretty much any stage of a product life cycle, you can find one that can help. Why do companies use CROs and CDMOs? Kind of two things. It helps keep a business model lean. A lot of these scaling up or running these big trials costs a lot of money, it requires a lot of personnel. It allows companies to use these organizations when they need to, rather than having all the resources into the money, the people into creating full divisions themselves. It also helps with expertise. So you get to access, again, regulatory experts, people who are study design experts areas beyond the, the R&D that you are probably more familiar with at a biotech company as a scientist. 